Around six months ago, I unboxed the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and was immediately impressed. At the time, I believed it was the pinnacle of Android smartphones, but now, after nearly six months of daily use, does it still live up to those initial impressions? Let's take an in-depth look at the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and find out just how good this phone really is. Let's talk about the design of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This model comes with a new titanium exterior and a stunning 6.8 inch flat display. My specific model is the titanium black finish, which looks incredibly sleek in person. The matte sides and back panel do an excellent job of hiding fingerprints, maintaining its pristine appearance. The design is so impressive that I haven't even wanted to put a case on this phone since unboxing it. It's genuinely my favourite designed smartphone to date. The industrial look with its sharp edges and flat display really does stand out. The phone is also lightweight but not so light that it feels cheap in the hand. Since the unboxing video I've been asked about the durability of this device, especially in this colour. Despite not using a case, the phone has held up remarkably well, there are no significant scratches scratches, the paint hasn't chipped away, and the glass has remained intact. However, I am extremely careful with my devices, especially when they are case free. That said, I do feel that if I dropped this phone outside, it could get scuffed and the paint might chip, similar to my experience with the blue titanium iPhone. If you're concerned about potential damage, using a case would definitely be the best option. For me, the design and colour are perfect. The Galaxy S24 Ultra combines elegance with durability, making it a standout in smartphone design. One of the main features of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is its impressive camera system, which has seen significant enhancements from its predecessor. This model introduces a powerful 50 megapixel 5x periscope telephoto lens, a change from the previous 10 megapixel 10x model. Initially, this might seem like a step back, but it's a strategic move made by Samsung based on user feedback. Most users, including myself, find the 5x zoom range more practical and frequently used. The adjustment from Samsung ensures we get the best quality where it matters most. Samsung's camera system is not just about numbers, it's about real world performance. Over the past six months I've been able to capture stunning images with remarkable detail thanks to the 200 megapixel main sensor. This sensor combined with the 12 megapixel ultra wide and 10 megapixel 3x telephoto lenses offers a versatile range of optical zooms from ultra wide 0.6x to a detailed 10x. This versatility means you can easily switch between different perspectives whether you're capturing expansive landscapes or detailed close-ups. Throughout my time with the S24 Ultra, I've been impressed by its performance. The photos and videos I've captured are consistently vibrant and detailed, which you can clearly see in these shots. When it comes to video recording, however, I still feel the iPhone has a slight edge. The video capabilities of the S24 Ultra are excellent, but the iPhone's consistency and smoothness in video capture are hard to beat. Additionally, while the S24 selfie camera is good, it's also an area where I still see room for improvement. Despite these minor points, the S24 Ultra's camera system is outstanding. It's incredibly versatile and consistently capable of producing professional quality images and videos. If you're in the market for an Android smartphone with top tier camera capabilities, the S24 Ultra should certainly be at the top of your list.
Let's talk about the display. One of the standout features is the new anti-glare coating, which does an exceptional job of reducing reflections. This improvement makes a significant difference when using the phone outdoors. The 6.8 inch screen peaks at an impressive 2600 nits in bright light, making it incredibly bright and easy to read even under direct sunlight. Protecting this brilliant display is the new Gorilla Glass armor, which claims to be much more scratch resistant than previous versions of Gorilla Glass. In my experience, this has held up well. I haven't used a screen protector and the display has barely any marks. As usual with Samsung's flagship displays, the S24 Ultra's screen is bright, vivid, and simply amazing to look at when consuming content. The tiny bezels and small camera cutouts enhance the viewing experience, making it one of the best devices for enjoying videos, movies, and other media. Whether you're streaming your favorite show, watching a movie, or just scrolling through photos, the display offers an immersive experience that's hard to beat. The combination of high brightness, anti-glare coating, and robust protection makes the S24 Ultra screen one of the best I've ever used. Now, let's dive into the performance of this phone. All versions of the S24 Ultra are powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, a chipset built with AI in mind. Over the past five months, I've had no issues with this chip whatsoever. Whether I'm multitasking gaming or just scrolling through social media, this phone keeps up without breaking a sweat. Any snags or lagging I've experienced have been rare and seem more related to software optimization rather than a lack of hardware capability. These instances are few and far between, but I still feel like they're worth mentioning. In terms of battery life, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is not only one of the most powerful phones I've used, but it also leads the way for flagships in the battery department. Surprisingly, Samsung has retained the same 5000 mAh battery from previous models. The key difference here is the improved power efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. As a power user, especially during long days, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the juice to get me through a solid workday without needing a midday charge. Overall, the combination of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the 5000 mAh battery make this Galaxy S24 Ultra a powerhouse in both performance and battery life. It's designed to handle anything you throw at it all day long. A big part of the S24 introduction was the debut of smart AI features exclusive to the S24 lineup. These innovations aim to make your smartphone experience smarter and more intuitive than ever before. First up is the gesture-driven circle to search. This feature allows you to discover more about objects of interest with a simple gesture. When something catches your eye, just circle it and you'll get Google search results instantly. It's a quick and efficient way to get answers and make use of the included S Pen. After taking a photo, you can now use Generative Edit. This AI-powered editing tool allows for simple edits like erasing unwanted elements, recomposing shots, and remastering photos. It's a fantastic way to enhance your pictures, similar to what Google offer with the Pixel lineup. Samsung Notes has also been revolutionized with Note Assist. This feature offers AI-generated summaries, template creation for streamlined notes, and cover creation to make notes easy to find. It can even translate your notes, making it a powerful tool for organizing your life and handling everyday tasks. Live Translate on the Galaxy S24 Ultra removes communication barriers with near real-time voice translations right through the phone app. You can experience two-way real-time voice and text translations during phone calls. These are not all of the new features, but certainly are the main ones worth mentioning. While they are all impressive and offer significant convenience, I've found that over the past six months, I haven't really used them as much as I thought I would. They are certainly powerful tools, but if you're someone who knows you will not use these features often, you might want to consider the S23 Ultra as it shares many similarities with the S24. 
Another integral part of the user experience with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is of course the S Pen. The pen is one of the main reasons I love coming back to the Ultra. It works flawlessly with some of the new AI features making it a powerful tool for productivity and creativity. While it may not always be in use, having it right there when you need it is priceless. It's a significant improvement over my experience with the Galaxy Fold, where the external S Pen needed to be carried around separately. The convenience of having the pen integrated into the Ultra is unmatched. I absolutely love using it to take quick notes or pin things to my screen as a reminder. It's these small conveniences that make a big difference in daily use. The S Pen enhances the overall experience of the Galaxy S24 Ultra in a way that other phones just don't, simply because they lack a stylus entirely. From its striking design and durable build to its versatile and high quality camera system, the S24 Ultra stands out in almost every category. The camera system with its improved telephoto capabilities and powerful 200 megapixel main sensor has allowed me to capture some truly stunning photos and videos. While the iPhone may still have the slight edge in video recording, the S24 Ultra's overall camera performance is unparalleled in the Android world. The display is another highlight, with its anti-glare coating and peak brightness of 2600 nits, making it perfect for outdoor use. Whether I'm watching videos or scrolling through social media, the screen offers a vibrant and immersive experience. Performance-wise, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset ensures that the S24 Ultra handles multitasking, gaming, and everyday use without breaking a sweat. And with the same 5000 mAh battery as before, its power efficiency means I can go through a full day of heavy use without needing to recharge. The AI-driven features add a new level of convenience, even if I haven't used them as much as I initially thought. And of course, the S Pen continues to be a standout feature, enhancing the overall experience in ways other smartphones just cannot. The Samsung Galaxy the Galaxy S24 Ultra is a powerhouse of a phone that excels in design, performance and functionality. Whether you're a power user, a photography enthusiast or someone who appreciates the finer details in smartphone technology, the S24 Ultra is an excellent choice. It has certainly lived up to my initial impressions and remains my top recommendation for an Android smartphone. That being said, Google's Pixel event is right around the corner, so if you're able to hold off then it's worth waiting until after that event before making any purchases. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and if you are still watching up to now, then hit the thumbs up button and think about subscribing to the channel to see lots more content like this. For now though, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.